At six, after 40 years, the state of Iowa may see some sweeping changes to its bottle deposit law. During COVID, many Iowans stopped taking their empty cans and bottles back to grocery stores, and many retailers stopped accepting them. A new bottle bill now moving through the state house would allow grocers to opt out if there is a redemption center within 20 miles. Senator Ken Rosenboom of Oskaloosa is sponsoring this bill, and he tells KCCI. Retailers shouldn't be forced to take empties if they choose not to. Eventually, the goal is to uh, remove that mandate from them uh, so that uh, we don't mix our food uh, supply with, with empty used cans. And I think after the last year dealing with COVID, we're all a bit more sensitive to those types of things. And I think that we can do this in a healthier, safer, safer way for Iowans. Rosenboom says there are incentives in the bill to help rejuvenate the state's redemption center business. He says people in rural Iowa don't mind driving 20 miles to redeem their deposits. The bill also includes moving millions of dollars in unclaimed deposit money to a taxpayer relief fund. And now to the way this law could affect what happens to bottles and cans. KCCI's Andrew Mullenbeck checks in with a bottle redemption center in Nevada. Returning a can or a bottle at a grocery store is often automated. You put it in the machine and off it goes. But here at a redemption center, the process is done by hand. And a new law could have a big impact on how they do their business. Mary Vanderwall has been sorting cans and bottles for 33 years. She's heard talk over the years about changing the state's bottle deposit law. But this latest plan could result in a lot more bottles coming in to her business in Nevada. Overwhelm us at this point if everybody stops, you know, all the Casey's and all them, because we don't have enough funds to pay wages to compete with McDonald's and Casey's or any of them. She wants to be clear it's not the business she fears, but that she can't hire enough help at the existing rates to keep up with all the supply. When you go 40 years on just a penny, the same penny, you can't make it. They need to look at the pop and beer companies on how much they're making a year on non-return cans. It's probably in the millions. And that's what people throw away because they're fed up with nowhere to put them. Brian Whaley is a loyal customer at Story County Can and Bottle. He's concerned about people tossing bottles they can't redeem in stores. If it's going to hurt her business in the future, then, like she said, the... The road ditches will be full and people will just give up because if she gets overwhelmed, she's going to have to turn customers away. Redemption centers already got a bit of a taste about what could come because some retailers have already stopped accepting bottles and cans out of COVID concerns. In Nevada, Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.